Yeah, hello everyone and thanks for uh, joining this talk. So, um, I want to present the LLVM Linux project and uh, we were at the last plumbers and uh, exclusively for FOSDEM, um, we can present the t-shirt, yeah, because uh, the feedback was really nice, but you have no t-shirt, so here it is. Um, so, what, what's this project about? Um, first of all, well, why do we want to compile the kernel with Clang? Yeah, we have GCC, uh, we have a compiler, so why? Well, one reason uh, is we get a few more diagnostics out of Clang. Yeah. Um, in the first line, you see the output from GCC, in this case, 4.2. And uh, the second line, that's the same error for Clang, and you get more uh, informative output um, with Clang. That's also the reason why, for example, Google, they build their co huge code base side by side with GCC and Clang. They use GCC in production, but they build with Clang for the diagnostics. Yeah, so that's one example why that could be interesting for the kernel. Well, we have a lot of such uh, warnings, errors, and so on. Um, so that can be quite noisy, and we have to find out okay what's useful now and not. But still, we get a lot of information out of this and uh, um, more informative. Uh, hints on what what might be wrong at this um, place. Also, uh, we get more informative hints on what to do, what to fix. So, um, even you see here those nice carrot pointers. So, Clang knows how m in more detail, not just something went wrong and this statement, so it went wrong at this position. So that's um, one of the strengths of uh, Clang. Comparison for the macros. In GCC, you just get an error. Well, we have, uh, in this macro, we have um, an error or invalid operands. In Clang, we get the macro expanded, so you get to know where in the maybe daisy chained macros the uh, bad condition happened. Yeah, so it's not then up to you to dig through maybe multiple macros and find the uh, the, the spot where the bug is. You get a more detailed output here. Another thing which is uh, interesting here is that Clang allows uh, more things, like we have a static analyzer, um, where we can create uh, an analysis of our code flow, and we can also get um, detailed information on what goes wrong, for example, in this branch here. Um, we are currently working on adding this analyzer, the checker, to uh, our compilation to the Linux kernel. It's still in an early stage, um, and of course the kernel is a huge code base, but we are working on this, and uh, we are curious to see what we will find here, uh, what can be improved. So, what else? LLVM is also part of a few more projects. For example, it's uh, an integral part of a render script in Android. Uh, it's part of the uh, Gallium 3D engine in multiple uh, ways. And um, there's, for example, also a full build of Debian uh, with Clang. 
Um, tomorrow, Sylvester will have his talk and he will um, talk about this in more detail. So that's uh, where Clang is already in use. Uh, there's also FreeBSD port and, and also um, Minix 3 is using it. So that's quite interesting. So now back to the Linux kernel, back to our LLVM Linux project. So, well, of course, our goal is to build the Linux kernel with a uh, Clang. Um, for as much architecture as we can reach, Clang is actually inherently a cross compiler. Um, Clang uses a kind of intermediate rep representation. So uh, you parse, the, you parse your, your code, get it into an intermediate rep representation, can do all sorts of optimization on that intermediate rep 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 representation. And finally, you dump it into uh, the uh, uh, architecture-specific code. So apparently, Clang is a sort of a cross-compiler already. Um, so, targeting multiple architectures is actually quite easy. So, what we want to do is we want to enable building the kernel with Thelang. Um, currently, we reach that on ARM x86. Um, we are looking into MIPS, but that does, uh, doesn't have a lot of uh, traction right now. Now. Um, the goal of the project is also to find anything that's kind of a blocker. So we have a few spots where kind of the kernel tends to use a really GCC specific, yeah, and CLang maybe because of its architecture cannot do that. Yes, so, so there, there are a few things where we have to find what's, what's, what's the blocker here and actually where do we solve it, yeah, be it kernel or be it uh, CLang. Um, we are we are no fork of uh, the kernel or Clang. Yeah, we are kind of uh, aggregating patches for both projects, and we are contributing them back to the upstream, to Clang and to the Linux kernel. Currently, for Clang and LLVM, our patch set is quite small. It's it's like five for each LLVM and Clang, so that's kind of up to 10. For the kernel, our patch queue is quite bigger um, because we have, especially on x86, a few spots where um, we have to kind of jump through a few hoops, loops to, to get it working. Um, and uh, we want to kind of uh, get those patches in a shape where we can move them into mainline. So, um, you can find information about the project here, llvm.linuxfoundation.org. Um, we have uh, their project status page. We have the roadmap there. And um, you can find also our links to the build bot there. We have a build bot running, which continuously builds against kernel, clang, uh, LLVM upstream, uh, of course, with our patch set on top. So we are actively uh, tracking the development head so we can, we can enable the, the, the work on upstreaming the patches. Um, architecture supported, I will um, go into more details in the next slides. So, website, you can reach us on IRC. So, we are on the channel LLVM Linux uh, on OFTC. Uh, you can reach me uh, on my nick uh, DL9PF there. So, just drop by the channel uh, if you have any questions um, or if you need support, to if, if you want to try it out. We have a mailing list, LLVM Linux. So, you can post and subscribe to that list. If that was too fast to note it down, 
take a, a quick shot on the QR code. I will uh, present it on the as last slide too. All right, now show me the code. Just go to jit.linuxfoundation.org slash llvmlinux.jit. So what do you get? So it's, it's no clone of the kernel. It's no clone of the LLVM and Clang. What you get there is um, um, a kind of a make framework, yeah, a, se a set of make files. It will download the kernel, download LLVM, download CLang, apply all patches, and then build it. So in the end, you get a compiled kernel, a kernel compiled with Clang out. Uh, we still uh, we, we are working on support f for KBuild, so we want to make all those nifty uh, changes and all those nitty gritty workarounds. Um, we want to, to make them available in the kernel's KBuild system, so actually we can kind of throw away our um, our scripts sooner or later. Um, so that's hosted there. Um, we also do testing in this framework. So for example, for the ARM targets, we have a QMO system ARM target where you just can kind of go to the, uh, go to the subfolder, hit make, and it will build everything and even boot a root FS and test it. Yeah, so complete we can uh, do the complete cycle until it runs. So that's what we actually use, what's our tool for our work in kind of getting uh, the patches working, getting everything uh, working and kind of for tracking upstream and for pushing our uh, changes upstream. Just an example on how to use it. So. Uh, you just check out the JIT. You could go to targets vexpress, and the simple case would just you, you hit make. Yeah, uh, this will do everything for you, and it will it will even it allows you even to boot a tar boot a test system with QEMU and uh, verify it works. Um, There are a few targets. We have the Versatile Express, but also uh, there's a, uh, a target for the MSM boards. Um, i586, x86, 64, Raspberry Pi. I think we will merge uh, a Beagle board target in the next days, if it's not merged yet. Uh, but that's pretty rough. But, um, well, it's quite easy to set up your own target. Yeah, it's just copy the tem template, make a few adaptions, and boom, you have your own target. So it's quite easy to um, um, create your own versions, create your own adaptions. Um, x86, currently we are, uh, the only working target here is kernel 3.3 um, because we have currently huge problems on, on mainline. Um, that's because we had some rewrites in the, in the real mode code, and that's still making troubles right now. Uh, but we are working on that. OK, so uh, what, what do we have to do? Flace is a big problem for us. Uh, we are debugging segment differences, so if you compile with GCC and if you compile with Clang, the output has different uh, style of linking, um, so that's what we are debugging, moving x86 to mainline. Um, that's our current efforts, so if you have any more questions, drop by on ISC, check it out, and build it. Um, we are always happy if you just ask, hey, I have this blob problem or what's going on. Ask us on IRC. We are there.
All right. 